new year yay this is my first video for this year and <clears throat> you have to forgive my voice i've been down with a cough you know i went out for a countdown and i came down with a cold so i've been like indoor like for, for over five days now <clears throat> But I'm feeling better and I decided to like just put it out there like time it's going. The aim is like to get this channel like growing, you know. This year, I am working on getting this channel to 100k subscribers. Y'all, y'all, come on, come on. <laughs> so uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. I make videos on lifestyle, entertainment, gist, trending issues. I've been down a bit on trending issues, but i'll be back <laughs> no i am back and yeah i also talk about fashion stories that sound like something that interests you and of course we do it how discussion here on this channel as well because the aim is for us to be happier healthier wealthier right okay yeah that's it <laughs> it's 2022 and what are we, what are we going to do with 2022 yes we are going to do new stuff you know upgrade our stuff decided to come and show you my 2022 skincare and makeup routine now you have to forgive me on the makeup because i just realized that i forgot my makeup um brush sets at my parents place yeah so i'm going to use only two brushes i know that could be careless but I'll, anyways i'll try and find a way to work with them because i don't have any brushes i don't have any spare brush at home so first of all <clears throat> whenever i'm going out okay first thing i do is normally you bath you know you're supposed to have your bath now okay, okay. <laughs> then next um i cleanse my face i love cleansing my face a lot um, and it's a necessity um i tend to do it twice a day like yes even when i'm going out i cleanse my face but not always sometimes i would not cleanse in the morning then but i would definitely cleanse before going to bed you know so that when you're resting and your skin pores are open there won't be any dirt to catch you know and absorb in <clears throat> so what i use for my cleanse at the moment is um i use rose rose water i'm sorry i use rose water like from diane can you see you can see so we're gonna scrub no we're gonna cleanse <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god his voice is so annoying so what i do with this is i wait for it to dry off you know next i use um pew de lune lotion i <clears throat> yeah this is also a cleanser but i i have stopped using cotton wool for this i used to but i've stopped because this low this um cleanser is thicker and it tends to like the cutting will tend to absorb it and at the end of the day like i'm wasting a lot and it's just a bit that's getting on my face and that's not it here cleanser is one good cleanser that <clears throat> i love to use since i discovered it it's like a game changer for me honestly and i would advise you like to try it out because if you're prone to acne if you have any acne problems and all then you can get this and use if you have a sensitive skin it's good to have this shade i think they come in three shades there's green three colors sorry there is green the green is like for the extra sensitive you know it's super mild and then there is this brown <clears throat> if you're sensitive and um you don't want to like brighten up then you can use this and then there is the pink i don't know if it's pink or orange but it's it should be pink so that you can use if you are if you have a tough skin you know it will penetrate through so it tends to help with acne so before i use cotton wool for it but now i just you know get it on my hand uh, you know to my face or i'll just like put it directly on my face like this just a bit and rub it in this way And I bet they sweet it. I always apply everything on my skin in a circular motion. And then you tap in. 
now a lot of i made a lot of videos december and i want to congratulate myself and be like yeah you did it you did it yes i did i i made up a challenge like late very late november told myself that i am going to <coughs> post every day like daily for a month and i made it through 31 videos throughout december so yeah we're back to our regular for a while before i you know feel better so next i go in with my vitamin c like vitamin c is one of the best best skincare products ever to be made in the world trust me this is amazing the serum helps it's, it's anti-aging helps with the wrinkles and of course gives you this amazing glow yeah it makes your face looks fresher younger and glowier i don't know if there's a word for like that but anyways you get the drift so <clears throat> i've been using um russian um a vitamin c serum see i am running out guys oh my god <laughs> one thing with serums you know and and essential oils is you're always supposed to keep it in the dark like away from light whatever kind of light it mustn't be sunlight like light in general and that's why most of them have been put in amber bottles like a darker shade of bottles so what i do I, if you can see this what i do is i always put it back here and i don't put it on my mirror like i put it in a cupboard in order to protect it because it tends to lose its like essential <laughs> it tends to lose you know the the great things in it so what i do vitamin c as well is you can put it directly here if it's just you using it like but if you are sharing with someone that you can put it on your hand on your palm and of course apply so this is just me and me alone oh my god i am running out how did I not see this? Okay, so, woo, guys, I see. I can already see the glow, like, like. Now, if you're applying most of your facial um, skincare product, don't forget to drag it down to your neck. What I'm doing is because I'm wearing a turtleneck at the moment, so I'm not stressing and all, but always drag it so your face and neck would blend. Circular motion, and of course, tap in. And oh my god, this is great! <laughs> so, um, next, what I do, of course, is my moisturizer. Ta-da! Cetaphil. So what I use now for moisturizing my face is Cetaphil. That is if I am going out because it's mild, you know, it's safe. It doesn't have any harsh um, ingredient in it that would harm the skin, you know. Because we know that when you apply harsh stuff on your, on your face while going out under the sun, that could be really bad. So because I have uh, like an oily skin not so oily but oily um i try to apply just a bit of moisturizer not too much and then last but not the least my sunblock yeah right now i'm using snail uv sunblock and i'm loving it i love it and i know that many people tend to shy away from sunblocks that are ashy you know like they leave this whitish stuff on your face and i get it but i believe that like, if the sunblock is good then i think that's one of the um should i say downside it's it should be the least of your worries the main problem is for you to get a good sunblock and i think my sunblock is about <clears throat> 50 percent spf so that's good enough and since i've been using it like i've been having less of burn because like my skin is so super super sensitive to sun sunburn just like takes just few minutes you know and then the skin burns <laughs> so what i would say to everyone i like to apply sunburn a lot or like i put it too much safe because i i feel like it's better for me to get a whole layer on my face 
so i'll apply it to set in and sunblock is something it's a must have trust me if you want your skin to look young uh like for a longer period of time i mean like in your 50s 60s 70s you need to be protecting your face from the sun because sun is a damager <laughs> so this looks ashy and all but like i said i have an oily skin so it is definitely going to absorb and before you know it the white ashy look would be like gone gone last is my lip balm i use this amazing vaseline lip um therapy lip balm it's amazing i just love it because it says longer on my lips okay if i'm having a no makeup um kind of day and this is how i would look like exactly this is how i'm gonna look <laughs> i feel like even makeup cannot shield my skin from the sun like from the rot of the sun you get so i have to apply my summer so what i go in with first would be my skin prep you know <clears throat> is this i use this for my primer so i go in i i have two i use two primers actually but i um one is finished i ran out and i haven't had the effort to you know buy it, it, it to buy another one because i tend to i'm a sweater <laughs> i sweat a lot so i use this and then i have this one that i use on my t-zone like the main area that i sweat so I put it and then I let, I let it dry. <clears throat> Guys, I still feel sick a bit. <laughs> At some point, I thought it was like the C word, like the C. I thought I contacted like the C word, but it is not. And we're not mentioning the C word on this channel, like at all. <laughs> While I'm waiting for this to dry, hello. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't, yeah. Because, I, like I said, the aim is to get it to 100,000, you know, subscribers this year. So, please, hurry up, subscribe. Yeah. And you can share, of course, with family and friends. There's a lot of, like, inspirational health discussions, entertaining videos on my channel. And, yeah, basically, daily lives, relationships. Now, what I love to do guys here is that i absolutely like putting on my my um setting spray i like spraying it at this beginning like this first stage why i do that is like i said i am a sweater so i like to like keep the makeup in check like please just stay <laughs> just stay okay um <clears throat> the next i go in with my foundation so what happened is i usually normally I'm running out i use milani <clears throat> but i recently changed to zaron and yeah i got someone to help me get it but as you can see the tone this is the color the tone isn't fitting my skin this milani is so what i do is i cannot return it you know yeah i'm that kind of person so i mix it i tend to mix it with my milani so what i do is i get a bit a little pump here and i get a little pump of milani i am seriously running out guys okay so i mix them to give me like a more sort of acceptable tune for my skin okay even this is still red mm, because i'm already out okay <clears throat> so i go in with my foundation uh this shirt is so light but anyways i put a 
little as little foundation as possible honestly guys especially now that it's like too red uh, i'm already out of my melon i think i have to get a darker okay i have i have a bit of dark shade of melani i think i'll pump it it's very dark uh, okay this is very dark so uh, <clears throat> i try to mix it you know so i won't have this overly tuned face and then my face will not be different from my hand ah oh girl i love to blend with my blender beauty blender i have tried i've tried using a foundation brush but i just feel like it doesn't blend in my makeup well i know it's not just me that can relate to that next i'll get in my concealer just a little bit so here and here here and here and then my nose bridge what am i doing <laughs> what am i gonna do it's like i'm putting it wrong okay then a bit on my forehead then this now if you notice i tend to have a darker hair bridge so i conceal thank you very much and then blending time i'm using the huda beauty for my setting uh powder what i do is i'm getting as little as possible I have a dark um, black opal powder this is what i use for my contouring guys this is what i use do i also have like a little contour palette this but since i started using this but i'm like yo i love this <laughs> i'm using this and guys tips this is how i open my setting powders like <clears throat> see so when i'm you when i'm done i close it like this and you know you don't get to lose some of them on the floor or on yourself or something so okay i use here for the highlighting and then here for the contouring i'm going to use more of this because i feel like my face is too bright for me and we blend and get a little bit of this I'm because I left my brushes at my parents place I'm going to use my finger you know to get this on my nose to contour my nose and make sure you you drag it like over like under your eyebrows a bit so it looks a bit natural and real I tend to bring it very close to the bridge of my nose I'm gonna use this to get my eyebrow prepared get my brown eye pencil just an eye pencil ignore my brows it's been a while since i actually like shaped it so i'm just gonna do this because i'm not in the mood of shaping anything <laughs> what i do is i use a gel liner this get a bit so i'm going to use this just to comb this out a bit i'm going to use this brush now i have to manage to you know make my brows look neat this is what it looks like even though i know that i'm not that great on brows and i've got a lot of offers from my makeup friends to come and learn how to do a good brow i think i'll do that 2022 like here we come i'm going to spend time like to learn because brows is like the main thing on the face when it comes to makeup you get it done right and then you're like Mm, 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 mm. now guys i am not big on eyeshadows honestly i am terrible at that like it's not like i can't apply it but i'm not really like uh, waste my time to get my eyeshadow done kind of person and yeah i have a lot of palettes of eyeshadows in my makeup kit like 
I usually don't have the time to apply. So what I do is I get one of my blushes. I have another palette of blush, but I love this three. It's like I'm addicted to them. And so today I'm going to go with this. It has a bit of pinkish and maroonish kind of um, color. This one has pink, just pink. And this one has maroon. So it all depends on what I want to go with. But today I'll just get this. And honestly, even with my brushes, I always I always use my finger to just get it on. Like, go over. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so next I would be going with my eyeliner. Tada. Next would be my powder. Next I'd apply my blush. I like a free like blush that could run through oh 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 i apply blush here sometimes i don't know it just looks cute <laughs> colors over yes i apply blush over there sue me <laughs> but i love it when my face is like looking ripe red it's like i'm blushing all through the day <laughs> and next I would get my contour palette. <sighs> I don't have my fan brush here. This is so annoying. I like to glow. I like shining. <laughs> shining like a diamond. This under my brow. And then just put it here. A bit of drama at the inner corner of my eyes. You know i can't see here so let me look here and then next would be my lips oh. i tend to use like a brown eyeliner to line it i already have full lips like both and but sometimes if I, if I want like a dramatic look i like to overline it that way it will look a bit bigger especially the top so today i'm in that mood okay. yeah look it's looking a bit fuller and um i am an ombre kind of girl i like mixing two different colors but i like one color too what i'll do is i would get this amazing champagne classic lipstick see it's a bit brownish and go over the eyeliner that I do oh I love this sometimes I go with this like I give myself the whole champagne dark brownish lip and oh my god it comes out looking amazing I love this lipstick honestly it's one of my favorite lipstick ever mm. my sisters are like sis you like red lipstick yeah duh so <laughs> this is my first makeup this year so i feel like i have to pay homage like to the red lipstick gag so if you love red lipstick please let me know on the comment section i don't want it to be only me okay we have to come together oh oh my god i love it it's it has this matte um feel and look and i just love it now sometimes if i want to go with a matte look i go like this other times i'll just put a bit of lip gloss you know if i want to go with a glossy look so yeah we're all done with our makeup hopefully nothing more so what i do is i just covered my eye and we go in with the setting spray yeah it's an aloe vera with vitamin e setting spray last but not the least of my item would be this yeah one of my makeup artist friend just recommended this for me and because i told i i told her like i i always sweat a lot you know even after prepping my skin with everything possible so um she recommended all nighter um makeup fixed fix up spray and honestly since i started using it i'm like loving it like guys i apply it and my makeup stays put like i would perform a pollution my makeup would still be put do you get 
so um yeah with this hot nigerian weather most of the time you know our hot sun i recommend this next would go with this immediately i applied you out there's this cringiness like my face starts feeling a bit dry I, I start feeling this tucked in like it's like it's holding my makeup all together a bit of like dryness like absorption you get mm -hmm. so this is the final look this is what my makeup like skincare routine of 2022 this is how it's going to look like you know coming up looking yummy and all that i will not too much stress on like going all heavy this year except if it's wedding then definitely yes for the wedding vibe we're going to go all out but then my daily makeup routine would be this okay if you enjoy watching my video then please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you click on the red subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet yeah and of course i'd like to hear your thoughts on my makeup and skincare routine and questions and things you want me to do let me know in the comment section below i'll say thank you so much for watching make sure you share this video as well please share yeah let's let's improve our skincare routine this year so i'll say happy new year once again until next time it is sumi signing out bye -ya.